How do I use this? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Uh, muchas gracias. Necesito practicar español. Sí, totalmente. Sí? But I'm going to be speaking in English. Lo siento. <laughs> so, so you can help me. I need your help. All of your help. But anyway, I'm very happy to be here. Um, so, so yes. Do you like these graphics? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What's that telling us? It's a little bit curious, isn't it? Yes. A little bit? Okay. Well, it'll go pretty fast here because we have a lot to, we kind of a lot to go through, but we'll go through pretty quick. So, a spirit of inquiry. Okay. Now we kind of wonder, okay, what's that mean? That seems a little bit odd, but it leads to a treasure. And that's really the goal. And it's really the goal about curiosity. And that's one of the things that interests me. And that's why I like this subject a lot related to it. It. That's one of the issues. It. What is it about? And that's what we can learn. So, here we go. There it is. A spirit of inquiry, it leads to a treasure. And that's really the goal for us, finding out things in our life that leads to some kind of treasure. So, curiosity, here we are. Let's go. Okay, so I thought, hmm, okay, what should the subject be? So I started looking at a bunch of things that I, you know, I was just kind of going through my shelves, my bookshelves, thinking, okay, I'll just get a subject here that I have. So I thought, okay, we'll just talk about the complete adventures of Curious George, <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, no, we'll skip it. Okay, and then it was like, okay, the kids' books, they had a curious cat. So I thought, well, okay, that'll be fun. This will kind of be us here, right? Looking at, I don't know what that is. That seemed a little, that seemed a little creepy. So I thought, okay, oh, we'll skip it. And then it was like, well, here's something a little more serious about curious cats in art and poetry. <laughs> Uh, no, skip it. We don't know. Bye bye. Okay. And then the curious little witch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be good. <laughs> no, I don't quite know what she's looking at there. I don't understand it. Look at the way she's hanging on that pole. <laughs> it's like, no. Okay, no, bye. Okay. But then I thought, well, the curious bartender. That might be a goal, kind of, right? The artistry and alchemy creating the perfect cocktail. <laughs> okay, are we starting drinks? No. <laughs> okay, we'll skip it. The curious case of Benjamin Button. Eh. Yeah, that's kind of curious. Then I thought, well, we could just watch a film, right? <laughs> then I wouldn't even have to talk, okay? <laughs> uh, no, we'll skip it. No, no, okay, bye. And then, okay, this book, Winner of the Whitbread, Book of the Year, The Curious Incident. Okay, that seems a little dangerous. Of the dog in the nighttime. It's a good book. You can always read it. It's kind of cute. The cover is a little scary, but it's okay. Okay, I thought, nope, we're not going to do that subject either. We'll, we'll go on. But then I thought, well, maybe the curious case of the copper corpse? Eh. Mm, no, 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 no. So anyway, I got done. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> yeah, it was sad. It was sad that that happened. But anyway, so I didn't bring my cat <laughs> today. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I thought, well, okay, what are we going to do? Mm, so what I did was I thought, okay, I'm going to find out what curiosity is about. And I'm going to look at that historically and see how that changes life. So, that's what I was looking at. So, I found a bunch of quotes using the word curiosity, and there's some good lessons there. So, curiosity is the wick in the candle of learning. It's a nice quote. That's a good lesson. So, there's kind of little things, and we're going to go through these pretty fast, but you can kind of pick whichever one you want to use as part of your life to make your adventure in what you can discover a little more opening. And so, that's the part that I think is really good. So, going back, even really old, what we want to tell, we wish our friend to have curiosity to hear. Another good lesson about every single day, whether we're dealing with family or friends, that's another good goal. Ah, 
And then Walt Disney said, ideas come from curiosity. That's another good lesson. Another good lesson. He has another quote there. We keep moving forward, opening new doors, doing new things, because we're curious, and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. It's another good new goal, really good goal. So Einstein had some good stuff to say, some good lessons for us. It's a miracle that curiosity survives formal education. <laughs> oh, I like that. Mm. Are any teachers upset about that? <laughs> okay, there, there we go. Okay, there's a little bit of anger here. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's good. No, it's very, very good. I think that's a kind of a good goal, you know? Because I think one of the things related to education, if you're a teacher or a student, whatever you might be involved with, that idea of curiosity is something that's quite good. It sends new paths, and I think that's important in life. So another little thing that Einstein said, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Another really good goal. I'm glad some of you are going to take pictures of this. You should take some pictures of it or <laughs> write it down or, if, I don't know, figure out what you want to do. I think it's some good, some good clues. So another one that's really, really good by Victor Hugo, of all people, curiosity is one of the forms of feminine bravery. It's a good lesson. That's a good one. I think that'd be worth, you know, I don't know, wear that on a shirt or something to say, you know? That's a good one. Tattoo. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay, well, well let's find a tattoo place around here and then... <laughs> we'll just kind of take a marching, we'll just march over there. That's a good idea. Okay, smart. Okay, I like all these lessons. This is helpful. Okay, so life must be lived and curiosity kept alive. Eleanor Roosevelt, and as she says, I think at a child's birth, if a mother could ask a fairy godmother to endow it with the most useful gift, that gift should be curiosity. That's a good one. That's really, really good. That's a really good lesson right there. It's a good way to kind of live life. And as E.E. E. Cummings said, once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight, or any experience that reveals the human spirit. That's another really good goal. It's something to think about every single day. That's something that can really help us. So, as James Stevens said, Curiosity will conquer fear even more than bravery will. That's another inspiring way to look at how life can be lived. It's something to really think about every day. So, as Mary Leakey said, basically, I've been compelled by curiosity. And as somebody who, you know, as, as she, if you know anything about her, as she kind of look, reached out into all around the world, kind of looking at how nature, and animals and you know everything else kind of live that whole idea of being compelled by curiosity for your life is a good goal that's a very very good goal so rather than think okay well I have to get up every morning and I have to go to my job and I have to do what you know my boss is telling me to do yeah you have to do that sometimes but it's also very good to kind of approach things in a little different path with a different level of curiosity so you're looking at things from a different angle even though you might end up be doing exactly the same thing. So whether you're involved in work or even doing sports, it's always kind of helpful for that. No matter what we're involved with, it's like, no, nope, if I'm going to be doing something with sports that day, I'm going to try to think of it a little bit different. So if I'm popping on my surfboard, it's like, you know, I'm not going to do the same move every single day. I'm not going to just think, okay, every wave is exactly the same because every wave is different every day. So that means I'm going to go at a different angle every day. I'm going to do it differently every single day. So it's going to be a little curious. And sometimes I'll fail. Sometimes I'll fall. But that's OK. I learned a lesson. So satisfaction of one's curiosity is one of the greatest sources of happiness in life. And that's another good goal. That's another really, really good goal, is going out there for things that we're not really accustomed to doing every single day. And that can make a difference in our life. And it can go up and it can go down. It can be positive and it can be negative, but that makes a difference in then how we live each day. So great personality is an extreme curiosity about yourself. That's a pretty good one. 
because it's kind of good to be whoever you are. Right? That makes a big difference. Okay, you don't, you don't have to be a performer that matches anybody else. And that's something that I think is really, really important in life. Be yourself all the time. Be who you want to be, who you can be. One day you can be somebody, the next day you can be somebody else. But go through that path in life because that idea about curiosity about yourself, about who, who am I? Who am I and who do I really want to be? What can I become? That's a good goal of curiosity. It's one of the ways to live life. So curiosity is freewheeling intelligence. And that's another thing related to the good path in life. And it's kind of why I'm going through these quotes that I, I mean, I searched for a lot of this stuff because I thought, what do I know about curiosity? Hmm, I'm kind of curious, I know that, but what do I really know about it? So how can I go through this path of figuring out how to take this adventure every single day? And that's one of these things that's really helpful with all of these. This one, particularly from Alistair Cook, was pretty helpful. So, as Mario Testino said, if you are curious, you create opportunities. And then if you open the doors, you create possibilities. That's a really good goal. That's a very, very good path for everybody. Because it's about opening those doors, a different door, every single time you want to take a different path. That's something important. Because you can't be just going down that same route every single moment in life because otherwise you end up at the same place every single day. And that's not always the right goal. So sometimes, even if you're going down the same path, you gotta make a turn one way or the other. Maybe a turn you've never made before, try that turn. And it might work or it might not work. You may have to make a U-turn to kind of come back <laughs> and head down the path a little bit differently, but it's always a good goal to do it that way. That's important. So. I'm naturally curious, and I've always been driven by my curiosity. Curiosity gets people excited. Curiosity leads to new ideas, new jobs, and new industries. And I know that's an important part of all of our lives, is how can we do something new? And even if we're just sitting at our desk and sitting at our computer and having to get some work done that day, having to think of some new ideas and new levels of curiosity about how we can achieve things is something that's very, very important. So that path, that path related to this is very good, even on just a daily existence, no matter how simple it is that we might be having to deal with something. So when your boss gives us a goal and says, here's what we gotta do, well, you know the path you gotta go to get there, but it's also good to kind of, at least in your head, or in what you're having to do at your desk, is take a little bit different path to come back so that you're teaching yourself about something new in your life. Even though what you may have to hand over to your boss is the same thing, getting there in a different way is another way to live better. And that's a really, really better goal. So people die when curiosity goes. Ah, that's sad. <laughs> but it is kind of the aspect of it. If we don't keep that level of curiosity in our life, wow, we suddenly get this kind of weird, blurred vision about what we're doing every day. And then we're not in charge of our own lives. And that's an important thing, to be very much in charge of your life every single day. So even though we have to achieve something that we might be just given the task to have to achieve, here's what you have to do every day in your job or in school or whatever it is you're doing. Ah, the idea is make sure that you're thinking about it in a different way because that will make a difference in life. So really, I'm only alive out of curiosity. I'm very curious about where we're all marching, as John Hurt said. That's another really good goal, really, really good goal because it's about curiosity and how we can then make our path every single day about where we can, where we can be going in life. So replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. And that's important because kind of every day and sometimes even at night when we start to want to go to sleep, we're a little bit fearful on some levels. Sometimes that keeps us awake, right? We can't really get to bed. It's like, ooh, I'm a little nervous, right? But 
the thing to do is then start, start thinking about what's that different curious path? What can I do to approach it in a way that takes that off the plate so that I can think about a new way of living? That's an important thing. So curiosity is a path of exploration and discovery, the journey and the lessons learned, the secrets revealed, and the new direction found. Those are good steps. It's a good way to move forward in life. And that's really the goal. That right there is the goal for me. That's what I try to do. What I really want to do. Because it's about learning things, having things revealed, discovering things, so that I can take a new path, even though I might have the same type of goal that I have to do related to work every day. That's not how I really want to live. So those kinds of things I think are really important for us. And it's what curiosity can do in our life to make a big difference. So thank you. Do you have any questions and comments? Some feedback? That's always really helpful. It's always curious. I mean, I kind of like learning from everybody else. That curiosity level is important to me because I'm not here to just sort of preach at you. That's not really the goal. I'm here to help, help and I'm here to learn from all of you. That, that's really the goal. I really like linking with everybody so that, hey, we can all feel a little better at the end of the day. So what comments can, what comments can you all make? I want to hear your opinions on this. Okay, who's going to talk? Who? Okay, talk. <laughs> Whoever. What am I curious about? Well, for me, curiosity is about living life and about experiencing things in a new way. That's really what it's about. That, that's what I'm very curious about because, I, you know, so many times every day we just kind of have this blinded vision about what we're looking at. And that to me isn't always the right thing. And so sometimes, I mean, if we look at this just from a technical standpoint, Sometimes we, we, don't, we don't look down certain ways and we don't look up. I mean, I'm just talking about that physically. You know, we don't look these other directions. We kind of keep this one little focus. And then we don't, it's not like we don't look at everybody in the room. It's like, well, no, I, I want to see everybody, you know? And no matter where I am on a street, no, I want to look at everything. And so that part's really important to me. So whether it's just a physical aspect about where you're looking or a mental aspect about where you're thinking, I think that that's super important about curiosity, no matter what it is you're working on. Yep, I think that's good. Yep. I'm curious about your work, um, about the Einstein quote. I'm a teacher, and I bring my whole class, and it's all like, oh, man. Uh, but I want to ask you about uh, how do you work with curiosity in your work? Because we know that you're in administration and in art. Yeah, curiosity is an important thing for me because what, what I've always done it, in work is I don't just do something that is um, basic or that I did before. I always take a new path related to it. Whether we're building something or whether we're creating something, whether we're writing, whatever it might be, it's always like, no, I want to do a new path because it's, the thing is, I, from a side of, you know, if you want to be in a creative field, where you want to kind of express yourself, it's very important to not pretend that you're in the world of a factory where you're just producing the exact same item every single day. And, and that's, that's another different career. That, that's a whole different thing. But it's not what I'm involved in. And so for me, no, I've never repeated anything, ever. And so even if a client comes to me and says, oh, we really love that last building you just did. That's wonderful. Or we really love that last book you just wrote. We want another one. It's like, no, nope, sorry, I'm not going to repeat something. I'm just not going to do that. You know, that, that's not really the goal because suddenly for me, I feel like I'm stuck. And that to me isn't really for me. Maybe other people want to do that, but that's not my life. So I think it's very important to kind of take what you finished, what you learned from it, and move on in a new direction. And sometimes those new directions work, and other times it's a little bit of a stumble, but it's okay. It's like I'm kind of teaching myself. And, and that, I think, is really, really important. I, I think, I mean, every single day, we should be learning something. 
Because for me, I mean, even the time that we're in school, okay, whatever. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not the highlight of life. It's beyond that. We're still students. We're still learning every single day in our lives. And that, I think, is very, very important. So the lessons learned when we're in school kind of help prepare us for the rest of our life. And that, I think, is an important goal. So, no, I consider myself a student learning something every single day, even though I've been out of college for <laughs> a long time. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's an important thing. It really is. I think that's important. Good. OK. Ooh, lots of hands are up. OK, we'll start back there, then we'll come forward, OK? How to keep curiosity in our lives? It's very important to simply discover stuff constantly. And for me, that's what's really, really important. So, so I'll be, I mean, I'll be really direct. You know, even when, I, when we drove here this morning just to come here to walk here, you know, the path, the path on the sidewalk was wonderful. I discovered a ton of stuff in a three minute walk. And, and it wasn't like, I'm looking at social cultural aspects. That wasn't the point at all. It had nothing to do with that. I was actually looking at texture and materials. And that I discovered a lot because what that was was suddenly that sidewalk we were walking on was art. That's how I interpreted it. And so I wasn't just on this kind of plain, smooth, concrete thing that was just repeating. Truly, every 10 feet, I was walking on a different path. Even though well, this was a straight path sidewalk, it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. But that was something new for me. So that was where some amazing creativity on a simple walk from the car to this door was a curiosity-laden path. And that to me is important every single day. So even standing here, looking just at that block, and the buildings that are there, the coloring, everything, the texture, all of that is interesting. So I think that's a way to kind of open our eyes during life so that even if you're sitting in traffic <laughs> for an hour <laughs> going nowhere, yeah, don't just sort of check it out. You know, don't just sort of pretend nothing's happening. Really spend the time looking around and, and learning and being curious about maybe who's in the car next to you and who's in front and behind and what's on the horizon. All of that, I think, is important in life. I really do. I think that helps. Yeah? Uh, well, it's a bit of a comment or just a question. I noticed how many of the stories at the beginning you were uh, showing us about Curious George and Curious Cat. Almost all of those stories are ne negative interpretations especially from older generations, how curiosity was this thing to be avoided. And, and then, you know, and then we saw that quote about how you have to turn fear into curiosity. And uh, you seem like a very open-minded, very curious person. But I was wondering if you ever, you know, um, bumped into people earlier in your life who were very anti-curiosity, very, I mean, where, where were, where were I mean, well, an instance of where you really, 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 really bump into that wall with other people or in a, in a job or your struggles with, you know, trying, trying to fit your curiosity into this sort of all uh, like the world full of generations or universe. Yeah, it's, yeah, I totally agree. Yes, you're absolutely right. And I'll be, I'll be really direct. Why I even put the book about Curious George on there first was because what I, what I started in kindergarten, Okay, and I was four years old in kindergarten. Everybody else was five. Okay, I was four, but I, I started reading when I was three. Okay, so when I was four in kindergarten, I was the only person in the class who could read. And so the teacher said, hey, we want you to stand up and read a book to us, read from a book. So I brought the Curious George book to the class as a four-year-old, and that's what I read. I was reading it to entertain them, 
okay? Well, the kids were kind of like mystified by this. They didn't understand why one of their other schoolmates was able to read. They, were, they just didn't get it, especially somebody who was 20% younger than they were, because <laughs> they were all five, I was four, and I was telling them a story. And I would, I'd read it, and then I'd look around and be like, hey, why aren't, why aren't you guys uh, linking into this? And that's kind of the stuff I was saying as a four-year-old, was telling them, come on, listen up, what, comment on this. But no, they were just quiet. They were totally quiet. And so it was, that, that taught me a lesson about how we need to link with people. And if people just want to kind of detach, that's okay. I, I don't have a problem with it. Everybody can do whatever they want. But I'm telling you, as a four-year-old, it taught me a lot about what people are like. <laughs> so I learned a lot of lessons. I really, really did. So that whole idea of curiosity, for me, starting at that very time in life, it was never a negative thing. Curiosity was never negative. But you're right. So many of these books and movies or whatever that might use the terminology related to curiosity, it, it's like people are saying, no, no, don't be curious about things. Just learn things. And it's like, well, okay, but that's kind of dull, you know? So I think anything, no matter what we're doing in life, we need to be curious about it because we need to find a new path. And that's a new path for life. It's a new path for knowledge. It's a new path for work. It's a new path for production. Whatever you might be involved with, the idea of curiosity is important. So yeah, that's, that's exactly my goal, completely my goal. Any others? Any other curious people? OK. Um, do you think curiosity is like your main source of inspiration? Or will it be another way to get inspired when you decide to do your work? Curiosity is a big part of my inspiration because it's for me, at, at, and using that in kind of a general term, it's about what, what's something new that can be done. So it's not repeated. It's nothing repeated. And that to me is what's really important because it's like lessons learned. So even in, in materials, I rarely repeat the same, I mean, I might use the same material, but we'll do the production a little bit differently. So that to me is what's really, really important. So even when in, on the realm kind of outside of some of the other things that we end up doing related to architecture and construction, yeah, it's taking that and doing something new with it. So even doing one of the early buildings that I did was all out of quarter inch Corten steel, the whole thing that we pre-manufactured the assembly and then brought it to the job site and just bolted everything in. But then people would be so excited about it. They'd see that, they'd see that building, that house in magazines and, you know, everything. And they'd be like, oh, here, you know, they'll call, oh, we want that same building. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to repeat that. What's the point? I'm not in the factory business. No, I'm not repeating it. I'm not going to do it. So often other architects would then see it and then they would go out and do it. But all they, they weren't really actually doing it the same way. They were just kind of putting a... Corten skin on the outside of a building rather than doing it much more effectively. So there we have a we have a house that's 17 years old. There's never had to be a single repair ever. And that's a little bit better way of doing it. But it does teach lessons. And I think that for me is always the goal. It's like, hey, let's find something and let's use it. Let's do it in a new way. So that idea of curiosity related to materials and creativity, no matter what industry you're in. That's always important. It, it really is. To me, I think it's a good path. Because then I learn. I mean, I really, I feel, I feel like I'm a student every single day. You know? And sometimes I succeed and other times I fail. And it doesn't matter. Failure is not a, not a bad thing. It's a lesson. It's really, really a good lesson. So, so for me, that's always a good goal in life. Any other? Yep.
It, you know, that's a good question related to how it changes life outside of work, because that's not, for me, uh, I'll be really direct with it. My, because I've never been, um, I've never been an employee of a company, because I've always had my own work. You know, it's just like, they just get clients and customers, that's it. it the idea that um, things need to change all the time become a problem. And so when, when either friends or, or people I'm working with or whatever, when they stay on this kind of same path all the time and they don't change every single day, like they still look like they're from the 1980s, it's like, oh, please, come on, <laughs> change your hair, do. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make sense, you know? It's like, no, I just, yeah, that's, so, so yeah, I just shaved my head. It's like, no, I don't want to, I'm not going to do anything with my hair. Like, who cares, you know? So it, it, to me, that part's really, really important related to that, that kind of level of creativity on it. So I think that that's important to kind of keep that going as far as how curiosity in everyday life can make a difference in things. So yeah, that to me is a goal. It really is. It's a good lesson. Anything else? Great. Thanks. If you have any other questions, let me know. Oh, wait, there's one. OK. Executing plans? Realistic plans with curiosity? Um, well, it talks about if you're, if you're looking at things related to whatever realm of business you might be in, that to me is an issue related to, okay, what kind of new direction can we take to elevate yourself beyond and get out of the realm of whatever industry you might be in? Because I don't think it's really that critical for everybody, whatever, whatever business you might be in, to sit there clustered with everybody else that's in that same business doing the same kind of thing, you know, you might be able to take it a little bit different direction, but what's the point? It's like, no, step out and just do something a little bit different that puts you in your own realm. And I think that's important in life. I really do. For me, it is. I'm not saying that everybody has to do that. You can all do whatever you want to do. But my point being is I'm not going to sit there clustered with everybody else that's doing a certain thing and we're just all kind of like, oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, we're just like all doing the same thing every single day. No, I don't think, for me, that's not particularly good. So it's kind of like detaching from the rest of the industry in some ways and becoming more creative. And what that does, and I'll be really direct with that, is it does elevate you. And it elevates you on different levels. Maybe it makes you more successful, maybe not, from a business side, but it does make a difference here in how you feel at the end of every day. So it's a little bit easier to sleep at night with that reason, because <laughs> there's less stress. There's a lot less stress. So yeah, I would recommend that. I'd recommend that as a goal within our careers. I think it's a good thing. Great. Anything else? Okay, have your goals. Do something new. <laughs> Do something very curious, okay? Start that immediately and let me know. That's what's really important. Keep me posted on this because that's all important. And if you have any other questions, you can always just go, you can go to tedwells.com. You can email me directly from there. We can always communicate. But any kind of questions you might have on anything, or you, you, know, you can kind of fill me in on what your new goals are. I'm very happy about that. That kind of helps me too. So yeah, let's all link and uh, figure out how we can live a better life. I think that's important. So great. Thank you.